Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss the Grove Coat of Arms. But before we get started, we wanted to let you know that we offer professional genealogy research services at our website. Please visit us at coadb.com. First Grove Coat of Arms to discuss is blazoned ermine on a chevron engrailed gules, three Escalops Argent. This belonged to the Groves of Grove Place in Buckinghamshire and also Agmandisham in Buckinghamshire, also found in London. Of this family was Hugh de la Grove, who lived in the 14th century, of Grove Place, who had daughter Anna, and also Thomas de la Grove in the 14th century of Agmondesham, who had daughter Agnes. Next, we have a similar coat of arms. Robert Grove of Donhead, St. Andrew in Wiltshire, England, was granted a crest in 1560. Also, the Grove Baronetcy of Fern House in the parish of Donhead, St. Andrew, a title in the baronetage of the United Kingdom, created in 1874 for Thomas Grove, a Liberal Member of Parliament, who descended from John Grove, who settled in Wiltshire in the 15th century. William Grove purchased the Fern Estate in 1563 and was a Member of Parliament. Here we see a list of the Grove Baronets all the way through the 5th Baronet who died in 1929, as well as some old photographs of Fern House. Another similar coat of arms for the Grove family of Castle Grove in Dungal, in Dungal, Ireland. William Grove built Castle Grove in 1727. He had seven children. He was the son of William Grove, who died in 1697 when he was murdered by rebels and the grandson of Thomas Grove, who died 1681, of Castle Shannon, who was the Sheriff of Dungal. And they descended from John or Eon Grove of Hendon in Middlesex, England, and of Carr Duggan Castle in Cork, Ireland. Here we see a modern picture of the family home, which looks like a hotel now, I suppose. Another coat of arms recorded in the funeral entry for a man we just mentioned before, Thomas Grove, who died in 1681 of Castle Shannon, Sheriff of Dungal, who's buried in St. John's Church in Dublin, the son of Thomas. Another found in a funeral entry in Dublin, Ireland, for someone who died in the year 1597. Another Ghoul's Chevron between three pineapples or crest a hand holding a thistle proper. This was found in a quartering on a memorial associated with the Pollard and Sheldon families of Newnham Courtney in Oxford, who had ancestor John Grove, who lived in the 15th century of Ford Hall at Wooten Wawin in County Warwickshire, although he bore slightly different tinctures. Another for the Groves of Shenston Park. Edward Grove, Esquire of Shenston Park in Staffordshire, bore this coat of arms in 1826, and he was the son of William Grove, born 1741. Here we see two photographs of Shenstone Park, or one photograph and one drawing. Argent three leaves vert on a Canton Ghouls, three crescents of the field, said to be for the Grove of Rowley Regis in County Stafford. Of this family was John Grove, who had son Thomas Grove, who died in 1693, and was succeeded by his son John Grove, who lost part of the house, um, her ownership in the house in 1705. Another Argent, a son Ghouls, or 
the abandoned grail dasher and this one which is actually for greaves of mayfield if you enjoyed this video please visit us at coadb.com thank you very much